Hey everyone, Joel Anser, and today we're outside Sports Pub and Grill here in Destrehan, Louisiana. In the New Orleans area, basically New Orleans, but Destrehan itself. Here to do their massive burger challenge. So this is an absolutely giant burger challenge featuring their five signature burgers, plus their home run burger, which is basically like a po' boy. So we really do have some Louisiana roots kind of going in here. Overall, we're gonna have 70, yes, 70 ounces of beef. Each of these burgers are 10 ounces, and then the po' boy is 20 ounces. So definitely a lot of beef, but the burgers look very, very delicious. They sound fantastic. Uh, then I know we have a pick a side. I think I'm gonna go with onion rings. They hand bake the onion rings here. Everything's basically homemade, like hand bread it, which sounds fantastic. Um, but yeah, they're known for the burgers, so I'm super Super excited to go on in never like never frozen always fresh all that good stuff so uh that's about it so we're gonna have a massive massive burger i believe it's all stacked on top of each other so let's head on in eat some food have fun and let's get eaten everyone so here with all the food so not only do we have this giant burger again which encapsulates all their different burgers um which like we got everything from like barbecue sauce bacon i see ham on here it looks absolutely delicious we do have the uh the po' boy the one with the bread on the bottom we have a huge side of their awesome looking onion rings these are all hand breaded onion rings. We also have their signature wings, tenders, and a big side of their fried mushrooms, all hand done. So this looks very delicious. I'm super excited. So ultimately, let's dig on in, see what we can do. Um, and that's about it. So let's get started here just momentarily. I also have some barbecue sauces, some buffalo sauce here, just in case. But ultimately, uh, let's get started. So it's not a lot of time, 30 minutes. So how about we say we get going, have our official timer as well. Okay, cool, how about we start at the count of five, four, three, let me maybe put this down, might be able to make it a little easier. Oh, two, one, let us eat. Mm. That is a very tasty burger. Oh yeah, the cheese and the barbecue sauce on that and everything. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Sports in Destrehan, Louisiana. Destrehan, Destrehan, you know where it is. Um, so Destrehan is just kind of outside the Nala area, still arguably in the Nala area. It's probably about like a 25 to 30 minute drive from right downtown New Orleans. Um, so like I said, without a doubt, in the New Orleans area, but starting to get out of the city. Yeah, first couple burgers in, very delicious. Everything is like hand seasoned. They, like, the flavors are fantastic. 10 ounce burger patties, they're absolutely giant. So let's keep on trucking, but very, very delicious. So here we are doing their massive burger challenge. So it had the five of their standard burgers, then the sixth, which I kind of call it like it was a po' boy. It was a, it was a po' boy, but it was burger patties on it. So it's kind of like, again, like a burger slash po' boy, beef po' boy, I guess, arguably you could say. So overall, I'm gonna call it kind of like six-ish burgers, but the po' boy had two patties, so a total of seven patties. So six burgers, seven patties, plus the large order of the hand-bread onion rings, and then we had chicken wings, which were, uh, and then we had chicken tenders, and then we had a big thing of fried mushrooms. Um, actually, my first time I think ever having whole fried mushrooms, they were like whole fried mushrooms. Um, but so yeah, there's actually a lot, a lot of food. Um, going into this, I was thinking it was more just the burger and the onion rings, but undoubtedly had all the chicken and all the mushrooms uh, as well. Yeah, very delicious. Of course, I have my ketchup plate. I do love ketchup, but it also helps everything go down a little easier. But Great burgers, great, great, great burgers. So we did have 30 minutes to complete the challenge, but with all the food, I definitely think it was pretty, like a pretty short time limit in a way. Um, like I said, the biggest thing uh, was 
uh, having the unexpected kind of like all the chicken and the mushrooms like there's definitely a lot of mushrooms and because like the mushrooms they hold a lot of moisture and stuff um, they definitely can carry weigh quite a bit at least one of the ones that were fried definitely did um, the burgers themselves were really delicious I was enjoying them big huge patties I mean you can see the absolute size of those patties they are absolutely giant they're all over a half a pound each and um, definitely some like I said monstrous burgers but that's definitely what they are partly known for here at this bar and I could say like I said it was a solid burger really nicely seasoned as well um, which I like I like flavor and a lot of the burgers had a lot of different flavors like the uh, the Texas burger of course you guys can talk and everything so you don't have how are we doing for time there, my friend? Oh, you have about just about six, seven minutes shy of four minutes. Four minutes or so? Uh, so I, th I think we're coming on about four ish minutes in. Very, very delicious. Like I said, these burgers are great. I'm super excited to get on the onion rings and everything else here. This is gonna, got a lot of food, that's for sure, but looks very delicious. Like I said, these onion rings, I'm very excited. Like I said, there were uh, five different burgers here than the po' boy, um, so like six total, but all like were different flavored. So, you know, like let's say if it was the Texas one, it had like barbecue sauce and, you know, one of them had uh, like ham on it. And, uh, you know, of course there's lots of bacon thrown in there. So all kinds of like different flavors of burgers, different combinations, which I think kind of like really, you know, just changed things up and added to it, um, shifted it all around, which hey, I, like I said, I wasn't complaining about that. I always love flavor, I always love variety. And and as these were like basically five burgers just stacked on top of each other, it was like I was getting, you know, a new burger, a new meal, a new taste, basically for every layer, I guess you could say. The bar here also had like what I would call like a very common thing you find in New Orleans being like the frozen daiquiris. So I thought that was like pretty cool. Um, so you get your kind of frozen daiquiri here while you're, let's say, playing pool or watching the sports game or, you know, having, having a burger. <laughs> Five minutes and 15 seconds in. <laughs> I did not get my wings sauced. I just got them kind of plain. I got the sauces on the side. Um, although I could have got them sauced, but this way I figured I could like try them by themselves. Then I had some buffalo and some barbecue there if I wanted it. Same as if I wanted to dip the uh, tenders in it at all. Um, but that, that's pretty much, I believe, all the information I have for you today. Like I said, an absolutely massive, massive, massive burger with a side of onion rings, plus all the wings and the tenders and the, the mushrooms, the list goes on. So that everyone, let me know down below, what's your favorite item here? Would you rather pick like maybe chicken wings or chicken tenders or a burger? I think I'm gonna have to go with probably a burger. I'm definitely a big, big, big burger person. I love burgers, although I will say I do love fried chicken. Fried chicken's pretty good as well. So that everyone, let me know what your uh, favorite item on the platter is here down below. And with that, I will let you get to the rest of the video. Been over six minutes, six, six and a half. Have the uh, last one here with the pull boy bread. Kind of those Louisiana vibes. Of course, I have the bacon, the ham here as well. Probably just kind of incorporate all that in. Very nice, delicious bite. Dress. I'll take it. And that, let's keep on going. Lots of food left.
So we got literally, this is a huge, huge, huge order. Fried mushrooms, again, the chicken wings, chicken tenders. So let's get on to some of these onion rings. We'll keep on truck. No shortage of food, that's for sure, but those burgers were fantastic. I see why they're definitely well known for them. 840. Thank you. Very nice. Coming on about 11 minutes in, down the last couple of onion rings, and they're very good, and then just everything else here. So, like I said, we're not doing too bad, but definitely be mindful of that time. About 13 minutes in, kind of burp, but no, but nothing new. I got two chicken wings left, and then just a lot of mushrooms and a lot of tenders. I think the full bottle of ketchup was part of the challenge, but hey, we clear that anyway. Let's try some chicken tenders. Very good. About 15, 15 minutes. Mushroom. Woo! Everything's been fantastic. Those tenders are nice, really nice, moist, crispy. I like those a lot. I do some sauce here. I don't even think I want to bust into them. I haven't needed to. Everything tastes fantastic. That's really good. Whole fried mushroom. About 18 minutes in, down the last mushroom. Yes. <laughs> yes. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Here you go. 1828, say nine. Give me a couple of let's see if you can get that. <laughs> <laughs> We are done. Woo! <laughs> Got a little bit of air in me. Alright, we're going to finish up. About 18 minutes, 40 seconds. Very delicious food. I gotta say, they like. I understand why they're well known for those burgers. They are huge, but they are delicious. They are tasty. No complaints about that. 
The chicken tenders were great. The wings were great. The mushroom. <coughs> The mushrooms are really cool as well. Um, the fact that they're hand breading everything is really fantastic. Same goes for those onion rings. So that we're gonna be which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really great place. If you're ever in the area, definitely stop and buy, would recommend. Definitely try those burgers, specifically the Texas one. That was my favorite. Um, but they were all really, really delicious. Well, there everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure did. I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who came out. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate it. For everybody else who is here, you get dinner and a show, a little bit of something, something. So that everyone, of course, till next time, say happy healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Just come try a burger here. You don't need five, six all at one time, though, and everything else. So try it in different, different occasions, different events. But at that, everyone, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And to that, have a lovely day. That's is gorgeous. No, it's gonna get gonna get even better. Oh. We're, off, we're off to a good start. Wait, wait till we get the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this, is, uh, this is awesome. All right, everyone, and we are officially in the real, real, real Louisiana. We are literally in Bayou Gosh. We are in a bayou. We're on a boat. I'm so freaking excited. We have alligators all around. We got turtles. We got the biggest grasshoppers I've ever seen. They're literally like that big. We got frogs everywhere. This is absolutely fantastic. We are like so, so, so lucky here to have Billy and his wife take us on out. Our local friends here, not only thanking them for the support, but they are really, really going above and beyond and taking us out on their boat, on the bayou. This is just a fantastic experience. I think that, and this is really topping off the Louisiana kind of experience. Like, I don't know what else to say, but this is it. I've uh, been here once before, never got out in the water, but hopefully we're going to uh, get to see all kinds of wildlife. Got on the beautiful water day, it's a beautiful morning. Definitely have some sunscreen, and this is just fantastic. They shoot a couple guns too. Yeah, oh yeah, and guns. We got the guns as well. Can't go, uh, can't go in the south without guns and good food and southern hospitality. So much, much, much appreciated. So here we are, we're going into a little kind of area of camps. Lots of little camps along the water. Literally, literally right on the water, like, which is so cool. It's a shortcut canal, we're going to the bayous. Um, what else is really fascinating is, you know, while you know, a lot of these buildings now are just camps, further up the, uh, the water there, they actually have basically houses just like this on the water. Of course, they're a little more dated now. And that's where people literally lived. Going to school, they had like a, it's not even like a school bus, it's like a school boat, like a houseboat that would pick the kids up, take them to school, they had, you know, the cattle, and kind of just, this is literally how they lived. Like, talking about living on the water, this is literally what they would do, which is just crazy, obviously with erosion, um, you know, the little destruction of uh, a lot of the banks and changes in water and weather, um, they've kind of now just turned a lot of these areas into camps, but this is literally how people used to live, just, Imagine waking up to morning, you know, in the morning and coming out. Like, you know, I've literally heard the term living on the water. This gives a whole new perspective to living on the water. And uh, I mean, definitely, you know, put your house on some stilts. Because I mean, if it's a hurricane, this place is flooding. Give you perspective of kind of like what the hurricanes do. They'll come through here. I mean, these places are literally right on the water. And uh, they were saying, how they, they literally took what you said camps on this side and threw them you got a camp it's it's out in the marsh or whatever threw them out on the marsh it's crazy i mean yeah look at this just like this is something like you'd these see in a spared. movie these were spared yeah yeah these, these ones are still doing well right just, you know it's just amazing to think about you know camps right on the water he took it off its foundation and put it you'll see it for a minute but it's just a little bit 
Just moved it down. Wow. I mean, just like such a cool, like such cool scenery. Like, again, something I've never seen in person. This is just like something I see right out of a movie. So that's so cool to see. Literally, like I said, living right on the water. Amazing. You can see what is now underwater. There used to be some camps there. Crazy. Oh yeah, the, the telephone poles. So here we are on some uh, Indian lands and the indigenous individuals, I guess, like if you see, these are all shells. They uh, kind of built them up along the banks, like literally, I guess this is still a uh, Indian burial ground of some sorts, which is pretty amazing, obviously, you know, to preserve the nature, preserve their culture and history is ultimately very important. So we're not really gonna, you know, trek around on, on too much. Um, we have the, uh, we have the, have some out here. We did see a couple alligator heads, um, little area of, this, of the water, the lake, Lake Salvador we are on. Um, so maybe we'll get to see some more a little closer. You can definitely see some flicking and flopping in the, in the back. There probably some fish or something. Got another room. I don't know if you want to ask a big boy. See a big one? Is it right by, right by the bank? In that cut room over there. Yeah, in between the two, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't think it's going to see over there, but yeah, there is a great big alligator right... Hold oh, on, where's my finger? That's the big Right over there. there. Yeah. Block 23, Gen 4, 40 cal. Beautiful gun. Always use the item here. And I don't know if you guys can see this over here, but there is no, just one, there is a big gator. We can see him swimming, kind of trekking across the water there. I don't know again that you're going to be able to see that very well. I'll try to point it out on screen after, but that is a yeah, it's a big, big, big alligator. So it's definitely impressive, and it's so cool to be somewhere where they're just live and wild alligators just swimming around. Like, what a cool experience. Here you go, guys. AR-10. <laughs> All right, pew, pew, pew. here we go. Oh my dear God. Benito. <laughs> How you like that one, buddy? Dude, that's a banger right there. Woo! I think it's a ring for it. So we're cruising into where we saw the big alligators a little bit, even the smaller alligators. We'll see if we actually get close to any of them. But yeah, I don't think they're, uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think they're dumb. But, uh, crazy here. Lots of, lots of obviously fish on the water. You can see them kind of spark up, jump around. Yeah. 
Yeah. Crazy though. Look at yeah, yeah, you're right. Look at the size of these lily pads. Those are like 18, 20 inch like diameter. That. It's like a large pizza. <laughs> yeah, and these are this is crazy. It's so cool. Like this is literally like anything I've seen on TV or movie, so I am just so I'm so I'm so happy like this this happened. Like, like yeah. Thank you guys so much. This is so yeah, cool, you know. There's a little gator. Let's see, there you go. There's the closest we've, we've been one right there. See, this guy's obviously a lot smaller than the other ones we were looking at, but there you go. Officially, at least we got a gator on footage, on camera. Crazy to think that, you know, just here there's wild alligators when, you know, I mean, in Canada there's no alligators or lizards at all, really. So, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Like, really, really cool. She's had her, had her fill, right? Ah, uh, either way. Beautiful, beautiful. More water, beautiful canal. Like I said, nothing I've ever seen before, so. Get yeah? Yeah, get get them get sitting by the bank, right? Frogging? Oh, yeah? There you go, have to go frogging out here.